I did a video when I passed my driving test. During that video, I suggested that if you fail so many times, then you should definitely take your instructor with you during the test. Someone that watched my video, he heard that advice and he took it on board. And when he went for his driving test, he also took his driving instructor with him. And fortunately, they passed. He's passing. He's passing. He's passing. Hey, obviously, you know what it is. He's your boy, Mr. CV. I'm back again, I'm back. It's a wonderful day, it's a beautiful day. Obviously the last week I meant to drop a video but I've been uh, I've been busy so but obviously I said to myself you gotta keep it going, you gotta keep it pushing. People wanna listen to Mr. C V. People wanna hear Mr. C V. So obviously I'm back again, I'm back with another special topic as well. But this time is about driving. If you still haven't passed your driving test, keep going, definitely don't give up here. I know it's very difficult, I know it's frustrating. I've made videos on driving so you can check that out. So I'm not gonna talk about passing the driving test. It's been one year for me driving and it's been it's been amazing and I've learned so much, I've learned a lot. With driving, obviously everybody wants to sit in a car, everybody wants to be staring. Driving itself, it costs a lot of money. Listen, if you don't have a job, just don't bother buying a car because it costs a lot of money. There are costs in terms of insurance, there's costs in terms of MOT, so MOT is making sure that everything is is fine on your car and making sure that your car is safe on the road. If something damages on your car, it does cost a lot of money too. And apart from those costs, there's also costs in terms of if you're getting fines, maybe parking fines, maybe fines for going to the wrong place. When you drive, especially when you drive in London, parking fines is of driving in London. You can't literally escape it. If you are planning to get a car, try and minimize these fines or else what you're gonna just be doing is using all your wages to pay those fines and you're not gonna have any money left, to be honest with you, if you keep doing that. Now, going into my main topic, so it's one year of driving, there are some things you do need to keep in mind and I think it's very important, especially if you're just a new driver and also if you've been driving for many years as well, this is a good video for you just to refresh some certain things or if you already know it then obviously give us some extra suggestions in case of something I've missed. Drop in your suggestions in the comment section. Let's say for example you've just passed your test and you're very excited and you're about to go buy your first car. One of the things you have to consider is the age of the car. Because the older the car, the more you have to pay on insurance. Because obviously if it's old, there are most likely going to be problems with the car. That obviously the insurance might look and think, oh, we might need to fix it. Second thing, if you just passed, it also increases your insurance too. Because obviously if you just pass, you're a new driver, they think you're prone to make, ac to make um, accidents on the road. And depending on your age as well, the younger you are, the more you have to pay for insurance. When I first passed, I was I was very excited. Obviously, like I said, watch my video about me passing my test because it took me a very, very long time to pass. And when I first passed, I was looking for a car to buy. And one of the cars I wanted to buy was a convertible. And a convertible is a car that the top opens up. And I thought, oh, it's gonna be summer. So obviously when I'm driving, I'm going to be obviously opening up the top but what happened was the place to pick up the car was in Leicester and obviously to go all the way to Leicester pick up the car what about if I don't like the car or what about if there's something wrong with it then I have to drive all the way back so I thought ah, okay no let me not do that so I went on Gumtree I was looking for a car a cheap car to get luckily I found one close to my house this was a BMW which you can see from the picture to be fair I didn't really care about the name BMW. There were people around me, like my friends were shouting, oh wow, you have a BMW. But for me, I didn't really care. It was just a car I liked. I really liked it. I went to go and buy it. The car was quite cheap, but the insurance was big. The insurance was heavy. Because, number one, the brand of the car is, is very, it's, it's quite, obviously BMW is probably one of the best cars. And two, I'm a new driver, I just recently passed. So the insurance, I was playing close to 3,000 actually for the insurance. So you can imagine my first car, I'm paying 3,000 a year for the insurance. For me, I didn't really care how much I was paying insurance for the insurance because it took me so long to pass. I was just so happy to pass. And this is where the cost starts to come in because, oh, 
I forgot something as well. The engine size, the bigger the engine size, the more you have to pay for insurance as well. So if this car for the BMW was two liters, so two liters is very, very big, which means it's gonna be eating a lot of petrol. So it means I have to be paying more for insurance. Something you need to know is how to read number plates. Now, let me get my whiteboard to help you. It's gonna make sense. Now, a lot of people don't know how to read number plates. And even when I started driving as well, I didn't have a clue about how to read number plates. With cars, as you drive, you will learn more things because there's so many things to learn about cars. With reading number plates, it's not important, but it's just something for you to also know because they might ask you, what's the year of your car? And obviously, you, you need to be able to know. I'm gonna use my old number plates, which is the BMW one. So it was P, 051X UK. So, which obviously you can see. In order to know what year is this car, you need to look for these two, these two numbers. The five means 2000, and the one, so the year of the car is 2001. So, because it says 51, it's 2001. Sometimes the numbers are quite easy. The is quite easy to read. So, for example, if we say it's P O one one X U K one one is means two thousand eleven. Now, if we say six one six one becomes two thousand and twenty one. Six one becomes two thousand and twenty one. This is just something to to know, so that obviously when you look at cars it's going to be easy for you to know what year the car is. Just to tell you a little story about my BMW car because it was actually mad, I actually really liked that car. From the onset, from the beginning, the car had, it didn't have too many issues, but it had some issues. I had to get rid of that car, even though I didn't really want to. On the first day I bought that car, because my reversing is not great, I wanted my, my brother to pick up the car and as soon as the guy sold, sold us the car, I had to reverse out and I couldn't do it. And the guy asked me, he said, oh, should I help you, should I help you reverse out? But because I just passed and I just bought the car, I wanted to show him that, oh, I'm confident. I'm, I, know what, I know what I can do. You can't believe it. <laughs> I, crashed, I crashed the car. After paying X amount to buy the car. I've got to pay another X amount to go and fix the car. I was like, wow, what is going on? The car had other issues as well. We had other problems too. But the final nail in the coffin before I had to get rid of the car was one of the schools I was working at. Because I'm the sports coordinator in the school, I normally take children to sports events. And one of the year group that I was working with they had a football match and obviously because I'm the football coach on my way to taking the children to the football match I'm driving my BMW I meant to turn left on the road but is it is a two-lane road so it's, it's hard to it's hard to describe so I'm gonna have to explain it to you by drawing it so here so So, if you can have a look. So this is the road. This is where I'm meant to turn left here. This is where I'm meant to turn left. But my car is here. So what I need to do is I need to move back into this road to turn left. So by the time I move back into this road to turn left, I've missed my side of the turn. I've missed the side of the junction I'm turning left in, so I've ended up on the right hand side. All of a sudden, I ended up in this pit on the floor and I can't move my car. I can't move my car out. I thought it was like a joke or I thought I was actually like in a movie or something. I physically cannot move my car. I'm pressing the accelerator for a good 10, 20 minutes. I'm pushing myself to try and move my car. I can't move my car. I've literally nearly burnt all my uh, gas, all my petrol in my car, trying to get out from this pit. I can't get out. Um, 
literally waiting for anyone to come and help me and stuff and people were trying their best to move it. I had to abandon that car there. So luckily a person that was driving by, she took me to the game. After the game, I had to go back and retrace where my car was. So I did. Another hour or so, I'm still trying to move my car. I can't move my car. Car is completely broken down. And luckily, this guy out of nowhere, I don't know, but he was, he was an angel. This guy out of nowhere, he said, you know what, I live close. He went to go and get this chain to come and tow my car, to come and literally physically tow the car out of the, out of the ground. Because the car was so stuck to the floor, to the ground, the pipes underneath was damaged. And obviously by the time I took it to the shop, it was too expensive to be paying for the cars. So obviously I was like, I had to get rid of that car. So it was a shame because I really liked that car. But 3,000 pounds was a lot to be paying on insurance. But like I said, I didn't mind because it took me so long to pass. So I was just so happy to get a car. So with driving itself, you will learn things as you go along because there are so many parts of driving that you won't know. Even my car, I only know the basics. Some parts of the car, I don't even have a clue to be honest with you. These are things that you kind of have to learn and you have to know because you're going to be using the car for a very long time. And it's important that you know these things. Also, if you haven't still passed, obviously you don't stop keep going and keep pushing and I'm sure you'll be fine. Obviously it's your boy Mr. CV. This is just more of an informational video just to tell you about cars and I think it's quite useful for you so that obviously when you do start driving or if you are driving already I'm sure some of them you can agree or you can add some things in. Obviously it's your boy Mr. CV. Have a nice day and keep watching my videos.